Hello, this is Reslin Bearcat, and welcome to our Apollo Let's Play series of Dyson Sphere Program. We are back in Dyson Sphere with our Apollo Let's Play series. Now, in the last episode, we built this right here, as well as we built a on another planet. We built the or, or the other moon that's around the planet we're currently at. We built a planet, a factory that is building some. Uh, uh, solar panels, some microchips, or what are they called, processors, and the, the, the microcrystalline components which are needed in the processors. Now these things right here can also be used to build the spray coaters. I don't have a whole lot of spray coaters, but we may grab a few of these just to build the spray coaters where we're going to need them at some point in time. Uh, we are definitely going to need that and probably stretch our iron deposits, so we may end up using that on the other planet uh, pretty soon just to stretch our iron deposits as much as we can. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to address an issue that I that has come up and we're going to use, um, we're, we're back to doing our research with our mass construction. So this is kind of the last of the, uh, the upgrades here. And I believe that there is, this is everything that can be done with this particular set. Yep. So can't do anything else there. Uh, solar cell life ray transmission. I can do vertical construction, which unlocks one more layer of that plus two more layers of the uh, lab construction. I will do this at some point in time. Uh, then I can do another vertical construction before it comes out to the other thing. Um, we can't do this. We can do the distribution range, but that requires the distribution logistics. And then we can do veins utilization and we do want to do the veins utilization this is one of the ones we want to do so i'm going to go ahead and do uh, i'm going to queue that up but i'll probably change it here in just a second uh, in order to do that we need uh let's see let's actually take that back yeah we definitely need the uh mining speed minus ore consumption so that'll actually you know it, it'll give us more ore than uh, we, we we need that now, along with that, we're going to need magnetic levitation. That's an item that we're going to need. I really want to get the hydrogen fuel rod, but that's probably not the most important thing to get next. I believe what we're going to need to do is we need this planetary logistics system and we need the distribution logistics. So what we're going to do is come up here. We need this because we're going to move some things to another part of the planet. We're going to want to build higher speed belts and we're going to want that's going to require thrusters so if we come down here and i'm going to change my mind on every bit of that including the veins utilization we're going to do x-ray cracking after we do the other so we'll do x-ray cracking the reason for this is this is going to give me another option for how i deal with the hydrogen we can take the hydrogen that we're creating and the um the refined oil and we can actually then turn that into more hydrogen and some energized graphite and the hydrogen energized but the energized graphite can help feed uh, between the two of those we can feed that into the red cubes that we need to do so we'll do that next that's going to be important uh, along with that then then we want to go over here and do the ore production or the veins utilization and then back over here and do the magnetic rail, which we're going to need. And then we're going to come up here and do the distribution logistics system. And this. So that's my next five things. It's going to require a lot of cubes. And within that, what we also are going to need is we're going to need more of these red cubes. So what I want to do is there's another crude oil seep sip up here. And I'm going to look at the distribution of resources on this planet. The clouds kind of get in the way of seeing these. There's a crude oil seep here, a crude oil seep here. We got a lots of crude oil seeps there. Coal there. Crude oil seep down here. Along with that coal that's there. There's no crude oil really super close. Well, there's three of them here and a t oh, there's 20. There's a million coal right there along with these crude oil. And there's another million ore there. So there's two million coal along with three pretty good, they're not great, but they're good oil seeps. So they're less than three, but more than two and a half. 
So with all of that, all that's in here, I could build a, a pretty good sized facility here. Yeah, and then the red cubes would we'll be belting them a long way, but it hasn't seemed to stop us before. We can look back over here to the sea. That's, I've got crude oil here, but I don't see any handy coal. There's coal there, and there's crude oil there. But that doesn't make it any less distance because of the building here. I've got to get the items over here. That's interesting. So, if we come in here and what I'm producing here, this is already produced. This is 2.4 coming out of just pulling that out. Alright, let's see here. Going back to here. That's running. That's nowhere near continuous running. So I wonder if there is enough there to feed four more of those. Because that's really what it would take in order to build the cubes that I'm wanting to do. That's, uh, that's completely empty. I would need more power things. But I could get more of these in here. I could get two more down here if I brought the line in right over here. And I could get another line, two more up here. Will they go up here? So I'm going to need a few more of these. I need four more of these things. So let's go get some of these things. So the thought process is getting to where it's taking a lot more time to think through things. But I need more red cubes. And so we're going to solve that problem right here and now. So coming in here. Let's see. Doesn't look like I have the opal buildings. Oh, they're not over here, they're over here. And let's see. Oil refinery. I'm just going to take an entire stack of these things. Actually, no I'm not. I'm going to... Uh, I honestly don't need that. Let's, we'll just grab the ones we need. It's not like we're going to be doing this all the time. So, back over here. Coal there, coal there. We got coal here. We can we can dig some more coal out and build some stuff. But right now, we need to be able to set more items in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to our oil refinery. Hit the R key. And we will put... Uh, that's not going to work for us. Production or refinery. Uh, we will put it here and here. And then we will come over here. And it's going to work. Just like that right there. Okay. Now, that being the case, uh, mass construction level 3, 900 facilities. Okay. So that's got me a lot of things. So we're now doing fracking. And fracking is going to change the way I can do this. But I'm not going to change this facility. We're going to leave this facility and let this run this way. So what we're going to do is... What we should do first. What we're going to do is come right down here. And we are going to run this right down through there. Okay. Just like that. And then we are going to... Come here with a splitter. This is going to be a bit of a problem. So what we're going to do is temporarily we need to relocate this. It's not going to go there very well. It will go there. Now it wants to collide. Really? How does that work? Okay. All right. Like that. Take that out of there. And then I'm going to take that and that out. And 
let's see, R, 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 R. Okay, you are just gonna be the problem, aren't you? Okay, let's gotta go in here. There we go. Okay, we all go in just like that right there. Just like that right there. Just like that right there. And then let's see. We need that right there. We'll bring that down here. Bring that over here. That in there like that. Okay. And with that in there, we've got the whole line. Well, not quite. We've got the, with the belts in here. So this is compact. I have certainly packed it in here. But we are getting this. That goes in there like that. That goes in there like that. Very good. And let's see, copy the blueprint, paste that blueprint there. Run right down through here. We're going to do an auto save. And we will copy the blueprint into here. Okay, now getting the stuff out of here, let's get the stuff out. Let's set it up here. This is the hydrogen. This is this. This comes out here. That comes out there. Okay. Oh, uh, that got all of those. Back down to here. And here we've got hydrogen. Oh, wait a minute. That is wrong. That hydrogen needs to be refined oil. Okay. There we go. There's the hydrogen. There's the refined oil. Okay. There's that. There is that. There is that. But we have everybody producing everything. Of course, we don't have any power down here, so that'll be an issue. We need to solve that. This. Just bring this down here like that, and we should be good to go. Now, that should be producing a massive ton more items. That should allow me to double up on some things. Now, with that in place, I need more of these power elements here. So this is where we're just going to get rid of this stuff right now. We're going to come all the way up here. Like that, like that. And I don't have enough. So let's go over here and grab more power plants. We want to keep the uh, power running. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna fix you here in just a minute. And let's see, we'll take one of these. We'll take that. Alright. And then... This, we're good on those for right now. We need, we'll just we'll grab a bunch of those. Already takes up the inventory stack, so why not? We'll head back over here. We're burning up our power, but we've got a good amount of power here. We can we can stay in the air for quite a while. There's the uh, the production, and we're down. All right, 
Okay, well that being down, let's see. Let's stick that right there. While we're doing this, we'll recharge the battery. Look how fast that battery recharges. Let's have to drop that down. Pretty cool. Alright, let's rotate this around. Uh, I believe it goes on this way. We'll do five of those. Five of those. Five of those. And five of those. So now then we need to hook all of this up. And more of these get in here, so So we've got a ton of let's see if that gets all of that running that is picking that up that's picking that up so okay I think that'll get it all we'll check it in a few minutes make sure what's happening here we don't have anything going in there that is seems to be fairly stable all of these running at a hundred percent not sure if they're running at 100% or not. I really don't see a whole lot of additional things coming down through here, so I'm kind of curious about this. That is at 15 per minute. That is waiting on crude oil. So no, I don't have enough crude oil to do this. Interesting. So how much crude oil do I need in order to do this? So if I look at this blueprint for the oil refinery, well, let's look at the building here. There's the refinery, and then the blueprint within the oil refinery, this right here. Yeah, I don't have enough oil for this, so I need to bring some more oil over here. So I just need to put another oil extractor down and run it over here and, and inject it into the line. So let's see where I can... There should be another oil seep somewhere. Where is the closest crude oil seep? There's one right up here that I can grab. Mm, let's grab this out here. I'm right in this area. Where is the closest one? There's one right there, and then there's one right there. So we'll just bring this one down. Okay. Would you? I'm off by key. Here we go. I'm going to need a refiner and a striker, which I don't have. Uh, so let's head over here and get a red striker. That is starting to back up. That's good. We'll let that back up for a little bit. Let's get an extractor. Let's go right here. And we should have an extractor right here. All refinery. Yeah. All extractor. Okay, and we've got one of these blue cubes not staying powered because of the lack of red cubes but we're about to fix that we're about to put another red uh, red cube generator in there so we're going to have this work in here in a minute with that in place we need one of these refineries right up here and we will need to be able to extract this we'll rotate that around onto that line right there and we're going to bring this item down here and add it into the production that we're doing. So this won't feed everything. So what I will need to do, hmm, I'll need to reverse that. I'm gonna need to put another conveyor in here. Some of it will go this way, some of it will go this way. Okay, so this 
we'll just come in right here like this. We will bring a... Let's do this right here. That still goes in there. Alright, put that in there like that. This comes out here. This comes out here. And then we'll come down this line right here. And put that in there. So we'll come right down through here. As we see the terrain change, look at how fast my drones work now. It's actually very nice. Alright, now we'll come right down through here. Into there like that. As the drones hit me in the back, we'll put these in here. There we go. Then just go back up to here, finishing it off, and then I have to connect the power lines up here for all of this. Okay, so now we need to stretch the power lines out. So we have this right here. Bring that down through here. And that will come to right there. Right there. And we are, we are connected up. It'll be outputting oil. Okay. With oil coming out, we should be in good shape. Now what we'll do is we'll watch this come down in here. We should get all of these running at 100%. Um, yeah, there's the yellow thing, yellow thing. We want to get rid of all those little yellow things. So that they're working well. So this episode has been all about trying to get... Well, we wanted to get the red cubes done. I'm, we might get there with the oil that's coming down through here. If this is enough oil to actually finish running this system and getting everything backed up, we'll be, we'll be good. That should get both of these two things running here. We got that one. We got that one. We should see them stay on. We should see this one come on and stay on. Okay, very good. If we don't, we'll just pull in more oil. Out of, so we can pull enough oil out of the ground to keep this little facility running. The next oil thing we will do will use fracking. As you can see, we now have x-ray cracking. And that will be a better formula for what we're doing. Alright, now we're starting to get a backup of this. That should be good. We should not be getting a backup of this. This should be staying pretty steady. Okay. I've got an extra container there just for safety and reason. Uh, let's see, can I build another one of those storage containers? I don't know if I have the things to build a storage container or not. I do not have the glass, and I don't have the stone to make the glass. There's lots of rocks laying around, but I'm not going to solve that problem right now. What we are going to do is come down here, and we need more graphite processors. So what we're going to do is put some more refinery uh, miners in here. So I'm going to rotate this around. And we will get those things right there. Let's see if I can get those coming in right there. Now then, with that, I'm probably going to bring this one over to here, this one over to here and probably build another line right down through here of these things. That will be the most logical way of going about this. So, let's see here. We'll come out right here, right down through here to here, and then I want to come into there. I want this to come out here. We'll come over to here. I've got enough room down through here to put this in, and then we can see that I need to join it up with that line over there. Um, uh, I have to figure out how to get it over there. Let's see. 
Let's pack that out one. Let's pack that out one. We'll bring that in like that right there. And we will then put that right there. Power that up. We'll turn this coal on. That. All right, here we go. Okay, we'll put that in there like that. And then let's see what we've got here. So if we bring this in here, these are not running. These are, that's all backed up. Let's see what we can do just about putting this in here and see what happens. Don't have any class on me. I'll make some glass right quick. So, rather than run back, I will do 16 glass. And that's going to let me produce. I need three of these. I'm only producing one at the moment. Now I can produce two. As he is producing more of the items, now I can produce three. There we go. Plan is just to get three more red cubes in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this right on down to here. Bring this down to here. And I've got three of these now, and I can stack them up like that right there. And then what I want to do is a little bit that on there like that, that in there like that, and that in there just like that right there. And then because of the power situation. that right there and this is going to be producing the red matrices pick the bottom one and it picks them all up and let's see if I've got enough graphite production to power all of that I should get these things running hopefully I may not need any more graphite at the moment if that's the case So I have greatly improved my, as you can see, I've got two of these things going down the line now. I've doubled up on the reds. And you can see this is turning red sometimes. But I don't think I have the other items in here yet. So we're going to see what we're doing. Let's get up in the air. The double units have not got down here yet. It's only keeping one of them going, so two of the units might not get it. I might need three of the units. I may have to check and see if, and, and that may require more. So there's the one, there's the two, there's the three. Alright, here's the double units. Okay, it's picking those both up. Now let's see what this is doing. Yeah, the cubes are definitely, well, they're staying in there now. Okay. I still don't have the, uh, I still only keeping one of them active, even with two of them coming in here. That's disappointing. I was really hoping that that would get the second one running. What is it going to take to get the second one running? Well, that number is going up, though. See, we've got this going up 60 hashes per second. Oh, the second one just lit up. It was only for a moment, but it did light up. There we go, it lit up. Let's see, here's Apollo 1 rising over the horizon. Oh, we'll, we'll, 
right out there. Oh. Let's see if it turns on again here for a moment. I guess it does here every once in a while. Yeah, it's turning on every once in a while, but we're still going to need more red cubes. So that'll be something to work on. We've got x-ray cracking, so we will continue with x-ray cracking in the next episode and see if we can actually get more cubes produced. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available and check out the link shown here for more gameplay. Take care.